Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I was just playing around today and kind of came up with this and thought I'd go, I'd use many tools to make this. And there's several ways to do it. Um, but this is kind of a cool way. To get this shape, just take two ellipses, hit the plus key on your keyboard, start moving and hold down your control button and there's that shape. Use your Smart Fill tool to fill that in to get that shape. And you could make it skinnier or wider. Left click, right click. We're gonna get rid of these. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put P, put it in center page, which really doesn't matter. I just get in a habit. We're gonna control D and make a duplicate, holding down the shift key, grow it smaller. Then let's select them all and hit B like in boy. And now you have two objects. Now let's go to, or at the bottom, go to effects and blend. And we're gonna blend them eight times. And we're gonna get that. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 uh, wells, I'm gonna call them because of the fact that uh, I did that. And we're gonna pick a green, we're gonna take away the outline. We're gonna hit the plus key on the keyboard and we're gonna move this one down. We're gonna pick a darker green. Now we're gonna blend them again that many times. Now go to object, blend apart. And you could do this another way, then you would need to ungroup these. You know, you could blend the lines, but this will kind of give you separation a little bit. So then just start taking these colors and if they're in order, take your uh, eyedropper tool and take a sample of that one and put it there. Hit your escape key, then go back and get your item. Well, I didn't do it. Hit the, get back to the eyedropper tool to get the sample of that and put it in there. And why would I want to be, I don't know why it won't let me put it in there. Let's go back to sample. Oh, go to object, break the four objects apart. Remember we had a blend. Go ahead and go to object and ungroup. I forgot about the blend. So take the eyedropper tool and sample that, put it in there. See, we're getting a little bit lighter. I just hit the escape key to get a new color eyedropper. Whoop, didn't work. Go to your pick tool, I guess is the best thing. So we're on number three. Go to your pick tool, go to the, so we're on number four. And I don't know if you can see when you're uh, when you grab that, you've got a green box or a green solid. The green solid means it's going to put it inside. The green box means it's going to turn the outline. And I've lost count on how many we did. Yep, we're still on track. It'd almost be easier if they were spread out a little bit. I know there's another way to uh, get the eyedropper clean again. So instead of having to go through these tricks, but I can't really remember it. Now, two things we can do, we can leave the lines, which look pretty cool. Let's, let's do them both ways. Let's, let's control G to group that together and then hit the plus key on your keyboard and let's make a copy. Now this one, we're gonna take away the outline. Now we just have kind of like a blend. We're gonna go now, and I just did a video earlier today on this, Docker's Transformer Transformation, where you could go right here, and we need eight of these at 45 degrees, but we're gonna only make seven, and look at that. Now let's do it with the lines. And really without the lines will look pretty cool itself. I did not move the object origin. Tell you what, 
Let's do one without the without the color. It looks pretty cool in itself. Kind of a I don't know what you'd call it. And you could do a lot with this with the smart fill tool and filling in different leaves and stuff. But anyway, kind of a cool little project. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.